Mountain towns in southern Colorado are now getting help to combat the growing fentanyl crisis. There are now six mobile health units traveling across rural Colorado to help treat patients for substance abuse and other mental health conditions. KRDO News Channel 13's Andre Herrera is live in Woodland Park to explain what the units are and how they're already helping people in Teller County. Andrea. Today, for the first time ever, one of the mobile health units was here in Woodland Park. Its main goal is to provide resources for the community, like mental health help and substance abuse exams. Down the stigma of mental and substance abuse in small mountain communities. That's the goal for state employees running this treatment-focused mobile health unit. There are communities within Colorado, especially rural and uh, frontier, that do not have the means, do not have access to get to the clinics that are available. When people walk into the mobile units for the first time, they'll meet a nurse or a counselor. They will determine the best treatment, including counseling or additional medical help. While there are no doctors on site, they are available by phone in the unit. And if it's determined that medicine would help, they can write a prescription before you leave. Those who come to the mobile unit for drug abuse will leave with Narcan, which prevents overdose deaths. Addiction is a disease of isolation. We know that. That's why COVID made addiction so much worse. In 2022, Ute Pass Regional Health District in Teller County received 557 behavioral health related calls. 59 of those were specifically related to substance abuse. Particularly with the fentanyl overdose crisis, uh, we're seeing record numbers that we've never seen in our state's history. Now this new mobile health unit will be traveling to Woodland Park once a week and it will be in the city every Wednesday for five hours for health and substance abuse exams. The unit will be here next Wednesday and you could either walk in or make a follow up appointment. For all that information, we have it on our Cardio page right now. Reporting live in Woodland Park, Andrea Herrera, Cardio News Channel 13.